So I saw a short video where this guy used a piece of carbon rod from a battery to weld aluminum of a car battery. And I'm 99% sure it's fake because if you look at the end here, you can see the welds are almost completely professional. And there's no way he did that with a carbon arc. So today we're going to be attempting to weld these two pieces of aluminum together with carbon rods. Now it's quite obvious that a 12 volt battery won't do much. So I have this 50 volt AC welder that can do up to 150 amps. Let me connect the carbon rod. I'm just going to shove the other side in this tube to make contact. We'll turn on the welder and let's try it out. Look at that, glowing hot jet. Set that down there to cool down. Oh no, it's on fire. There we go. Okay, yeah, it did absolutely nothing. It didn't even connect the two pieces together. It just melted them slightly. I figured out it does actually work if you hold it right above the aluminum, about one millimeter. Let's cool them down. Okay, we're gonna try the throw test. That passes. Give it another toss. Ouch. That is unfortunate. Yeah, if you look close to the welds, they're more just like melting together. It's not really a weld. However, I do have a solution to that, and that's these two giant pieces of aluminum, which will definitely dissipate the heat fast enough to not melt. As soon as I removed the supports, they just fell apart, and the welding on the top is just... I don't even know what it is, but it, it didn't penetrate at all. And I'll let you in on another secret. I'm a little ashamed of it, but I used shielding gas too. And even that didn't work. So I guess that's it for this video. Uh, obviously the video that guy made is totally fake. You shouldn't even try it. It's not worth your time. And also don't try welding with graphite rods because it just doesn't work on a large scale. However, what it did do is it melted these together a little bit, which is by no means a good weld, but at least it held them together. So I suppose if you could do this on flat ground and have them melt into each other perfectly, it might be a decent weld. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.